and Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming in today to talk to you about how to properly program or use your Air Excel thermostat in the newer campers. Some of you might have them in your camper. This particular one is in an Imagine by Grand Design. But let's get on to this one. If you have any questions on this, or if there's something else in particular you'd like me to cover, by all means, reach out to me and I'll see what I can do for you. So let me show you how this thing works. Okay, so this is your the thermostat here. And basically all you're gonna be doing is pushing this button down below. You push it the first time, the light comes on. Then the next one's fan low, fan high, cool high, cool low, cool auto, cool, uh, well it's cool low auto, now high auto. Then you're gonna go to furnace, your heat, and then it goes back to off again. So let me talk to you about how that all works. Now for temperature control, when you get it in the cool position, then you're just gonna be using, using this and this will control the temperature for your furnace or for the air conditioner. So now once you, have, once you turn your AC on, I recommend that you keep the air conditioner, and this is for any thermostats, but you, you notice when I was pushing the button through that, it went to fan low, fan high, then it went to uh, cool high, cool low, then cool low auto, and cool high auto. I do not recommend using the air conditioner with the fan in the auto mode, and here's why. You're in a camper, you've had the sun beating down on this camper all day in most cases, so you have heat on the outside. When the compressor shuts off and the fan's in the auto mode, the fan will shut off at that point. Now you have no air circulation in the camper. So my recommendation is put it in the uh, cool low or cool high position so that way there when the compressor goes off you still will have air circulation. Keep in mind when the compressor goes off it's off for five to seven minutes. However the, the uh, coils in the air conditioner are still very cold so it's going to be pulling the warm air out of your camper going across the coils and throwing cold air back in your camper or at least cooler air than what you have. Um, so in, it, it'll be beneficial for you. Now when you're going to go to use your furnace, it is very important, as I mentioned in a lot of other videos, prior to turning on any propane appliance, be sure that you light the three burners on your cooktop to bleed the air lines, well, the air out of the LP lines. Uh, this will help uh, to ensure that your uh, first time that you go ahead and turn the furnace on, it will actually light. For, uh, what happens is if it, if it has air pockets and it doesn't light after three tries, it will shut off. That is what we call a misfire. The less misfires you have, the longer your appliances are going to last. So just uh, keep that in mind. Hopefully you uh, found this informational. Uh, for any more information on uh, these systems, by all, by all means, just reach out to me. be more than happy to answer any questions you have. If there's another particular system you'd like me to cover, by all means, shoot me a comment and I will see what I can do. Appreciate you watching and we'll be coming back soon.